Chess A game of the mind. Many consider chess to be more than just a game. They'd be right. Chess is more than just what it is. It's an ancient game that's been played by millions upon millions of people worldwide for hundreds upon hundreds of years. It is also a sport in the eyes of society and those who play seriously. There really is something about this game, something about it that just draws anyone in who ever looks at it. It's not about how nerdy you are or smart you are just to play chess. Anyone can play the game. The rules are easy to learn, but relentlessly difficult to master. Because there are so many game tactics, styles, methods of attack, setting up, and figuring out how you can get your opponent's king in checkmate before your opponent gets yours into a checkmate. It's a game of strategy in one of the most popular in ancient times up until today with the advent of chess video game programs. Chess is a successor to an Eastern game called Chaturanga, where it was first known from the Gupta Empire in India around the 6th century. No one knows the exact rules of Chaturanga, but chess experts like to guess how it may have been played. I think it was the more primitive version of the game of chess we know today. Chess would be played by many around the world competitively before the advent of computer software. People would gather in a crowded place, slamming away at an analog chess timer and trying to checkmate their opponent before the five minutes are up. This was how human beings socialized before smartphones. People actually talked to each other and had face-to-face -face with one another. Funny, right? Chess is still played this way today, thankfully, but not as much, unfortunately. How did I learn to play chess? Well, the PlayStation 1 version of Chess Master 2. When I first rented this game, it was mostly a gamble and I was mostly curious on how to play chess. When I took it home, I just wanted to see if it were possible that a game could teach stupid little teenage me how to play a complicated game, and it did. Not only is the music amazing, but the graphics are as well. Going into the array of options, which there are tons of by the way, there is a how to play section where Chess Master 2 teaches you how to play the game via video tutorials. This is how I learned to play, and how I became infatuated by the game. I played Chess Master 2 to death, changing the board and pieces just because I could and just enjoying game after game against the Grandmaster. Which I never beat nor will I ever beat. He's a tough son of a gun. I remember going out to find my very own chess board and pieces, ending up getting a glass set like you've seen in the intro of this video. But it's tough to play chess during the COVID-19 epidemic, especially when we're told to quarantine and keep a social distance of six feet from everybody. So what do we have? Modern computer adaptations, since Ubisoft will not make another Chess Master game after the 2007 Chess Master 11. So here we have Simply Chess, which is a pretty good free game you can get on Steam. Problem I have with Simply Chess is the lack of board, piece, and music variations, but for a free chess program it is rather solid giving you a great chess experience even has online multiplayer where you can face off against random people or even your friends. The CPU has 100 levels of difficulty and a limitless function. So maybe the CPU can beat even those who earned the title Grandmaster for real. Who knows. It would be fun to watch. Then we have Chess.com where you can make an account, play live against other players, 
and even have lessons. But it's $99 a year or $14 monthly if you plan on consuming the website's lessons. The CPU is actually very tough too, especially for me because I will be honest, I'm garbage at chess. I'm trying to get better, which is why I'm now paying monthly. If there is any place I recommend playing chess online, it is definitely chess.com. I cannot recommend this website enough. Chess is a mystical game for me, of wonder, intrigue, and strategy. I do not consider myself an intelligent person, but I do love a game of chess. Even if I get beaten to a bloody pulp whenever I play it, still, I love it. I think anyone else would agree with me. It has that ominous pull that not many games have that just makes you want to give it a go. If you do not know how to play chess, then I definitely look into how to play.